Mark Kiki D recorded a great song years ago. I got the music in me. It was a big smash hit. You got the music in you, and you've had it in you from the get go. But tell us when it really first inspired you. When did you realize that you were Mr. Music? Music to me has always been a big part of my life. My mother taught piano, and I remember clinging to the piano bench as a little kid. She practiced and practiced and practiced, rock man and off and all of her classical pieces. And so it really started to collect, connect with me at a very visceral level. But where it really, really hit soundly for me was was one day my mother was driving me someplace in Calgary. We were going down this hill called Home Road. And, uh, and the song came on the radio and it literally stopped me in my tracks. Like I, it almost seemed like, like things started to move in slow motion. And it was, um, it was Bob Dylan's Lay Lady Lay. And I listened to this song, it grabbed me. And that was the moment where I realized how incredibly connected I was to music and how powerful an impact it had on me and, and would have on me um, for the rest of my life. Mark, we're sitting in the legendary warehouse studios in Gastown. Brian Adams built the house, you know. Some of the biggest stars in the world are managed uh, by a friend of Brian Adams by the name of Sam Feldman. You've had some business relationships with Sam Feldman. Share with us one of those anecdotes. Yeah, Sam Feldman and I go way, way back. Uh, it, it really started with the band. Uh, Feldman and Associates handled our bookings and so on, and Sam and I just kind of hit it off. One day, my co-founding partner in E-Zone, Dan Lowe, was out here from Calgary. And so Sam and Dan and I went and had lunch. And uh, at the time, Sam was managing Joni Mitchell. So we went back into Sam's office, and we sit down, close the door, and he pulls out this promo copy CD and sticks it in the machine and plays it, and the song was, it was called A Case of You. The three of us sat there, and there was, a, there was an energy in that room. We were all so incredibly moved. Three, three, you know, three guys just completely absorbed in that moment, and it was an incredible moment of connectivity amongst, the, amongst all of us, but for me it was, it was another incredible example of the power of music and what it can do. And, you know, we talked about being connected at a molecular level and, you know, quantum entanglement and those sorts of things. I think music actually does the same thing. 